Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a second part of a tutorial and this one um, was on, if you remember we did the um, cell phone on fire where we just added a couple images um, of a fire image and then we, we blended it in with the, um, the cell phone image in the hand and we just kind of left it there. And that looks cool and it's fine, but I did want to show you how that we, we can kind of change the skin um, of the arm. So obviously if you're holding something that's on fire, it's going to start burning the skin and burning the cell phone and stuff like that. So I did want to show you um, as a follow-up to this tutorial how to just add texture and add some really interesting things um, to the skin. So all of our pictures are available on um, ChristianPhotoshops.com. So if you just go to the website and click on um, the free stock images button. There's hundreds of images. You're welcome to download those and practice with them and, and play with them and um, follow the tutorials with them. So I hope you take the chance to just uh, down, download the images and play with them. So I'm going to use some pictures directly from our website and we're going to see what happens when we add it to the texture. So here's one, for example. This is just a picture of an old um, rotten tree, just has been eaten away by bugs and, and all kinds of stuff. So I took this picture and uh, didn't know what I would use it for, so let's try using it today. So what we're going to do is bring it in to our, um, our fire image and just put it right over top of it. And um, when you use your blend modes, um, all all kind of things will happen. So this is your normal blend mode, which means it's just just displaying it uh, normally but then if you go down to like darken or or multiply or color burn or um, you can do overlay um, there's all types of different um, effects that happen and we're not going to go through all of them but um, one of them that I really like doing for something like this is color burn so what we're going to do is change your blend mode to color burn and then you can see already kind of the crazy stuff that's going on here with the hand and the, the cell phone and the fire. So this picture looks pretty cool. It's kind of scary actually, but what I want to do instead of just applying it to all of the skin, um, what I want to do is first of all do a, a layer mask and then what we can do is we can paint in white the spots that we want it to do. So we don't want to do it on the fire obviously because if you did it on the fire that just doesn't look right. So we want to do it just to the skin part. So just get a, a brush, a soft brush, and uh, just start painting. So what would happen if you were holding a, a cell phone that was on fire? You know, your your fingertips and your hand would be would be burning up pretty bad, but your arm not so much. Um, so you would want all of this effect right here at the front part of the picture, not not the bottom part. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of paint this effect right on the fingertips. We'll do it a little bit on the cell phone too. The cell phone would be um, in pretty bad shape if this if this was really happening. And so we'll just paint that down there. There you go. So this is just a regular picture of a, an old rotten tree. You can use um, any picture you want to. Um, and also when you paint it in, you can use a different brush. So if we wanted to use like um, a, a charcoal brush or something like that, um, you could you could obviously do that and have just a little bit different um, effects going like that. So just like that, um, this is not perfect, obviously. Um, it, it, it looks a little weird, um, but if you play with it and um, add some other effects. But that's a really quick way to add some, some, some burning um, effects is just get a picture of a tree um, with a lot of texture in it and just change it to color burn and just paint it where you want it. So you could also do, um, let's try a different texture. So here's just a picture of some wood, um, just a, a tree, not so much like this one, but let's try this one and see what happens there. So let's bring it into our project and then we'll rotate it so it's going more like that. Let's actually go do it like this. And so we'll put it right over the hands and then we can change it to, let's try color burn again. And color burn looks all right. It looks definitely like a, a wooden hand, but that's kind of cool. And um, so let's try that one, or let's do it multiply. It's like, oh, let's try multiply. Multiply looks pretty interesting. Um, but before we do that, um, I want to show you another trick. You can see 
you see the wood, you see all the grain going up, and then it gets to the thumb and it keeps going up. Well, that, that doesn't make much sense right there. So what we can do is we're gonna use something called a puppet warp. And um, what you do is you go to edit, and then puppet warp. And then what happens is you get all these little places that you can um, manipulate the image. And the pegs that you put in, everything will stay the same. Um, but we, so we want the bottom to stay the same, that looks fine. But right here at the thumb, what we want to do is create a little peg where the, the joints would be. So kind of like that. And just drag that, those little points around so it fits the contour of the hand, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So kind of like that. And then click your check mark when you're done and then it will convert it. See, now we have those little contours following the hand shape. So then you would just mask it out and then we'd paint white um, where, we want it, where we want the effect to be. So let's try that real quick. So we'd obviously start with the thumb and the hands up here. I'm not gonna do the cell phone though. We're just gonna do the, um, just do the hands right here. There we go. Won't, won't go all the way down, but we'll go we'll go pretty good ways down. And then really heavy on the, the effect right here. Just paint that in. And then if you accidentally go like onto the cell phone or somewhere you don't want to go, you can always just change it to change your uh, brush to black and just paint that away. All right, there you go. So now you got like kind of a wooden hand holding holding the fire, which would be really scary. Um, so um, that's that's pretty neat effect there. And you can also blend effects. So we had our original layer with the color burn and uh, you could combine both of them um, or you could change them both to multiply or um, both to overlay or, or whatever you wanna do, but just play with the textures Play with the blending modes, and you can get some really, some really neat effects um, when you do that. So that's the tutorial. I hope you you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Go and and um, take some pictures of some fire and some your hands and some some textures and blend them all together and see what you come up with. And I'd love to see them. So if you want to share them with me, I post them on our Facebook page. Um, you can message them to me or email them to me. I'd love to see it. I'd love you to uh, just share what you can create. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've got many more coming up. So thanks for taking the time to stop by and uh, we'll check you back later. Thanks guys.